Also, two defense attorneys in the case say today's ruling did not go far enough. Former President Trump's attorney saying, quote, while respecting the court's decision, we believe that the court did not afford appropriate significance to the prosecutorial misconduct of Willis and Wade. He also promised to continue to fight the case. And defense attorney Ashley Merchant, who led the efforts to get the DA disqualified, says she believes Willis's office should have been disqualified entirely, but says the judge, quote, clearly agreed with the defense that the actions of Willis are a result of poor judgment and that there is a risk to the future of the case if she doesn't quickly work to cure her conflict. Well, from a criminal indictment against former President Donald Trump to the top prosecutor in the case stepping down, let's take a look at how we got to this point. February 10th, 2021. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis announces a criminal probe into alleged election interference. In November of that year, Willis hired Nathan Wade, a special prosecutor, on the case. On August 14th, 2023, former President Donald Trump and 18 others are indicted. And then on January 8th of this year, Ashley Merchant, the defense attorney for Michael Roman, filed her motion to disqualify Willis, kicking off this entire situation. On February 2nd, D.A. Willis and Special Prosecutor Wade confirmed their relationship in a court filing. And then on February 15th, they testified about that relationship during a hearing to determine whether or not they should be disqualified. That brings us to today, when the judge decided Wade must leave the case or Willis and her office must step aside. That was this morning. But just before 3.30 this evening, Wade resigned from the case.